Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Love Cup with an ABB team style. We're having the slow bro with water gun up on the lead and double bug at the back. Uh, yeah, double bug at the back. Okay, uh, we're having now the lands which is gonna do a lot of work against anything so that's why our Riyadh is gonna be a safe switch for the meta. Uh, we're gonna get hit by those lands as well now on the mirror so that means that this battle can get pretty stale super fast. Let's get now to our own lands able to debuff them and as you can see we still need two more lances if we're going to have any chance at all we are already at the red so we can only hope on the mistake to underestimate the situation for my enemy uh, so we're just gonna keep uh, going here just gonna let that go through and it is gonna be the cross poison super good news for my Ariados because now not only we can survive the cross poison but also the poison sting and still reach to our own cross poison to have that switch advantage now my Gorman Madame can go in and start doing some solid work against that poison uh, typing offensively at least Pokemon because its typing is not gonna be poison at all. The Seeking is gonna be their first backline Pokemon. Uh, so about seeking, I'm always eager to see what they might have at the back because a lot of trainers either pair it up with a Lomomola or with something like a second poison jabber, something like a Galarian uh, Slowbro for example, but uh, still we can expect anything here. So it is going to be the Lomomola, pretty cool surprise and now we're going to have the Psychic up against them. I know what you're thinking, well Ganeto, if you had confusion here, your Slowbro could have been much better, but uh, still I think that for other matchups, Water Gun can work much better than intended. Uh, so now we can reach definitely to that Psychic and they have to shield, right? Yeah. Down goes their shield, so now I'm just gonna go in with my back buzz and then truly believe that at this point the Alomomola is out of the way. Uh, so Seeking comes into the battle, but at this point it doesn't matter at all, they are super low and energy dry, which means that we can safely farm down with those confusions. Uh, into the next one now, and we're facing the Charizard, so on the switch we're met up with the Medicham, so this might be the usual ABB team that we're seeing everywhere with Charizard double fighting at the back to protect it from those uh, rock type Pokemon. Uh, so they're gonna take the move, and that was kinda weird, I was about to switch if they were shielding, uh, so I'm not gonna do that yet now they're gonna bring the second fighter and we were right trainers uh my spider link is gonna go in gonna take the move it is gonna be just a foul play who cares about that one and we're super low that we might not be able to reach to a, to a third one here so let's see together because one cross poison is gonna do a lot of damage to the shadow charizard another one to get the shield and we cannot reach there just barely so down we go to those wing attacks i'm just gonna keep going here with my slow bro because i know that with the sealed up we can definitely farm down with those water guns Shadow Charizard is not gonna appreciate the damage let's get now this Psychic off to debuff this Crafty that was a very fortunate debuff and now my War Madame can do the finishing blow against them so power up on here if I foul play I don't care at all I'm just gonna block it and I'm just I'm not gonna block now I'm gonna block the second one because this can be pretty much anything but at this point they're just one confusion away from fainting and that's gonna be a good game for my team uh, slow bro against slow bro this is gonna take a while and I'm not going to reveal my moveset yet uh, so I'm just gonna hide it with a switch out to my Ariados so definitely none of the worst leads that you can get with confusion slow bro uh, and I think I'm gonna block here yeah we have to block if we're going to pressure even more with my lances here uh, so this is gonna deal a lot of damage to the slow bro if they happen to take it but they end up shielding twice and that's pretty awesome we can still reach the cross poison unfortunately not the next lance but still we have the buff this Pokemon a lot, which means that my Snowbro now can go in and start farming down all that energy. They come into the battle with their Electrode on its other form. What a fortunate surprise! Because now we can even beat down this Pokemon with our Water Guns and the Psychic for big damage and lethal for the Electrode from Kando. Down they go. Let's see how they want to respond now because we're expecting the third Pokemon and it is gonna be the fairy type. So at this point, we got the Iron Head for the lethal damage against that weekly wiggle whatever pokemon we wiggled much better than you so we're just gonna take this victory because whatever they throw here can be taken and yeah those confusions are resisted by a lot so the final back bus is up upon the way so that's gonna be a solid victory for our for our team 
Uh, so Macargo now definitely one of the best Pokemon that you can get up on the lead. They were not expecting the water gun, so they stayed a little bit extra here. And now we're gonna get in there with our uh, Wormadam. I'm just gonna block the first one because it can always be something like a Focus Blast. They were farming a lot and I was pretty afraid. And also I totally forgot about uh, Focus Blast, how many poison jumps it was needed. Anyways, we're gonna see now the Sludge Bomb, what is happening and the Psychics. Okay, we're just gonna resist anything here and we can safely fight down and get out of this battle with a hundred energy left. Uh, so those incinerates are still gonna hurt a lot but to be honest we are at a point that we cannot do more damage than we are already doing so iron hit here is gonna take the shield out of that macargo and now my slow bro is gonna apply a lot of pressure to their pokemon rock tomb to debuff me but i don't care at all we still got the psychic which can still do a lot of damage even with the debuff putting that some or even uh close to, closer to the 50 percent so now my lunch is gonna do a lot of pressure to that medi just gonna let it go through just the power up punch i was counting the moves and i think they were not even there yet or i just predicted at that moment i don't remember but still we took a pretty solid victory once again for the fourth time in a row so let's move forward into the next one now with the crustle up on the lead they decide to stay in and guess what this is a, fa a favorable matchup for our pokemon now with that water gun being super effective up against the rock typing we're both even on shields now so our Riotos is going in and we just need to farm down completely here nothing to worry about whatever they throw is resisted so we're looking at a pretty solid battle for my war madame uh, so at this point those confusions are hurting a lot and I'm expecting that uh, Crustle to return but we are already there on that double iron head which means that we can definitely take it out if they do not block at all so one for the finish off no we're just gonna go ahead and catch the move on our Ariados which is pretty neat what a cool play that was we caught the X scissor which is resisted anyways and we banked out some energy for the Horma damage so now we're gonna see the lands on the slow bro unfortunately we cannot risk it for the biscuit here so cross poison will connect for some real nice damage output to that slow bro and we got now the back bus for the finishing blow and the winger swinger will just take this victory Medicham will be our next opponent and we got the Seeking on the Switch. So this is looking pretty promising for our Spiderling. So we're just gonna keep pressuring now with those lunges. After the first lunge, whatever they throw can be taken for sure and even deals less than 50%, which means that another run can also be taken while they cannot accept the damage from my lunge. Let's keep pressuring now with my Spiderling. And at this point, the Icy Wind will just debuff us even more. But to be honest, we got the Cross Poison, which might just give us the chance to get some attack boost back yes we can i totally forgot about it and that was kind of weird that i said it at this point but yeah i was not expecting it it happened and that is gonna be a solid one for my oriados uh, next up we got the return of the leaders uh, so psychic here is gonna deal a nice chunk to my slow bro but still not enough to kill me off and we got the war madame which can still do a solid amount of work up against that medi they are down on two shields they come in with the alomomola and guess what trainers those bug buzz are not gonna be that kind to the heart shaped fish like pokemon if that is considered to be a fish i have no idea at all uh, so we're just gonna block their move it's gonna be the hydro bump are you kidding me and uh, now we can try farming down all that energy can we do it yes we can that was absolutely awesome medicham now returns to the battle and the final back bust will connect for big damage and slow bro now with a sealed up has nothing to worry about just water gun down the remaining hp and medicham is out of the way alongside strange here. Uh, so Ligatang now in the next one horrible scenario we cannot withstand anything here and we just have to switch out into our Ariados so Ariados now with the lunges up against the slow bro you love to see it we're just gonna keep pressuring now with our moves and gonna go here for the cross poison we're gonna take the shield out of play and hopefully we can reach to another one to pressure even more you can see that even though they have the confusion we can still pressure a lot with our Ariados and that's why it is considered one of the best 
less safe switches in the lob cap. Now we can go in with our slow bro and after the debuffs I'm pretty sure that we can pressure with that water gun and farm them down. They return to the battle with that leaky tank and we can go for the psychic for big damage connecting on the leaky and now my war madam can absolutely take anything that they throw because all those charge moves are gonna be resisted. Uh, at this point I think we can safely farm down We still got the shield, I'm just gonna press it from now Because it seems like they're even weaker at the back So let's see what they got It is gonna be the medicham So we were not right on that factor But still we can get out of here with a lot of uh, HP and energy Which means that we can still uh, survive whatever they throw at this point Of course that was not gonna be a psychic But I'm not going to risk it at all And another back bus for the finishing blow Now Slowbro returns and my war madame is gonna be the ultimate closer that I was needing to destroy them down. Mantis de Lurandis is gonna be our next opponent. Guess what trainers will have to get out of there because not only they resist our moves, but also they got Fury Cutter which is super effective alongside Leaf Blade to destroy me down. Nothing to do there, they can also outspeed me to those moves for sure. We're having now the Miltang on the switch and after the first block that I did, well my lunges now are just gonna debuff it so much that we can take not one but two of those body slams with ease trying to get to the cross poison as soon as possible because I want to thread a shield or two out of them and after this body slam I think we can farm down or can they reach another body slam let's see together and yeah they can reach so they had a lot of energy stored up just gonna block twice here I definitely want my slow bro out of Luran this way uh, they happen to have a leak down the back which is pretty bad for me right now because now I'm just gonna go in and to go with those uh, lunches but Lickitang is also gonna be a very nice answer to my slow bro they happen to go in with the Lurandis trying to clear off the debuffs from Licky and we have now the War Madame over the Lurandis which is pretty neat for the moment of course the superpower is gonna hurt a lot but still after that first debuff we might have a chance here up against them so my War Madame is just gonna keep pressuring a lot with those confusions superpower once again we are already at the red and we are going down now to the final move which is a leaf blade double resisted but still we were super low Lickitang returns to the battle this is gonna be a race to the second charge attack because they connect the big move can we get it of course we can but IVs really matter and now slow bro the mentally whatever looking Pokemon with its weird eye rolls we're just gonna take this victory and slow bro is gonna be uh, the main star of this battle slow bro against slow bro getting out of there because uh, they have switch locked themselves with my war madam we can resist those confusions and I do not want to get uh, hit by a shadow waterfalls so just gonna reach now to my confusions and uh, the iron head we're gonna get the shield out of them we definitely want that charizard out of my slow bro and you know what I'm just gonna take advantage of that because now we can reach the second iron head and if I was gonna uh, go for the back bus at the first one well iron head could not have been reached on the second uh, try uh, so at this point I'm just gonna go in with my slow bro because I know I can survive pretty much whatever they throw while in return I can farm them down completely down they go that is looking pretty awesome and immediately gonna switch out to my Ariados expecting their final Pokemon to come Come into the battle. Uh, so we're gonna get now to those cross poisons and they are getting so much damage on that poor Charizard and let's go trainers with a shield now gonna reach immediately to the cross poison and all we have to do is to go for a lunge at least once to finish off this uh, Scrafty with a final blow but I end up going for the cross poison because I was counting the moves and I was pretty afraid that they could go for the foul play however here I lost my win con because now I'm pretty sure that a, a Water pulse will not be enough to finish them off and yeah that's a bummer I don't know what I was thinking down I go and that's gonna be a very good game for them into the next one now with a slow wrap on the lead and this is gonna be the final one so let's see how we can finish off this video because the last one was a loss and we definitely need that win now we're gonna get the boost on the Ariados which is pretty neat against the Talonflame so seeing the Talonflame always makes me think what can you have at the back just another fire 
fire type, just another uh, fire slash flying type, just another Charizard or whatever. So they come in with a slow bro, which is gonna be with water gun, which is pretty neat, and we can uh, hit it with super effective land. So they got to block, and at the last second, we can still reach to the cross poison. Let's get that super amazing damage output on them, and they do not have a charge at the back. It is gonna be the leaky tank. So now the warm dam can go in, break the clutch up against them, and with their slow bro being severely hurt, well, we can still uh, have the upper hand uh, against that slow bro. They can reach now to the bot slam. Let's go though with a much better move with a back bus, which can do a lot of damage to that poor leaky tank. That defense fell as well, which is pretty cool at this point. Body slams can be taken, and we can still pressure for that iron head. However, they end up going with that uh, slow bro, and I know I have to let that psychic go through. We can farm down. Can we reach the psychic? Of course we can, and that is gonna be the end game for these battle trainers. What a crazy closing for this video. Thank you for watching, thank you for staying till the end, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't, and I hope to see you all into the next one, take care trainers!